Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today, I want to chat with you guys about how laziness, or my laziness, has cost me money. I'm going to show you around the house and show you some examples. So let's get started and not just talk about it, but show about it. Okay, one way it's cost me money this month is I didn't even notice I had a leak outside. I noticed there were mosquitoes or some kind of flies. I thought, oh, you know, it just must be the weather. I didn't even take a look into it until my fabulous, wonderful neighbor said, Dawn, you've got a pool of water. What did I say? Oh, I think it's from the rain. Instead of checking it out. Well, I checked it out and I did get it repaired. But because of that, we will have a higher water bill. And it may have caused some foundation issues. But at least it didn't happen for long and I did get it taken care of. Okay, another way that my laziness has cost me money is... I have Netflix. I love Netflix. I love to watch movies. Well, I also have the DVD where I can get out one DVD. I've had this DVD now for a week, so I'm paying for a service I'm not even using. Another way laziness can cost people money. Another way I'm being lazy is putting off tasks that I know I need to do. Anything that may require a lot of time. You're probably wondering, why am I looking at this basket? This is mail in here, and there's things that I need to go through and important paperwork I need to deal with. Okay, one other way that I can be lazy is I really don't take time a lot to really dig deep through and use some of my oldest things in the refrigerator, freezer, and pantry. Okay, <laughs> the kitchen is a huge way that I've wasted money over the years and my laziness has made a big difference and basically time is money and I'm going to show you some examples. Confession, I've actually thrown away pans. Recently I threw away a cookie sheet because it would have just taken forever to scrub it down and I thought, nah, forget this. I've actually thrown away pans and cookie sheets because they were too messy, uh, too baked on, and I tried to get it off, and I just didn't want to deal with it. So guess what? I buy these pans. I don't use them all the time. They last me forever. But if I'm going to make something messy and so I don't have to deal with scrubbing down a pan, I use these. So I guess you could call that lazy. Okay, another place that I've been lazy is I don't always fully pay attention to what I have at home, and I don't always use everything that I have at home. So there's things that end up getting kind of old in my refrigerator. Now, I'm really good about wiping it up, which is great, but I'm not always aware of every single thing that I have. And so I'm like, oh, I forgot I had this. Why? Because we have an overabundance of food, you know, and I hear about folks that will take time to really shop the refrigerator, freezer, and pantry, and they won't go grocery shopping for a while until they use everything in the house. That actually may not be a bad idea. I've been kind of lazy, guys, is I'm, I don't dig in my freezer to dig the oldest things out. A lot of times it's like front or face, you use the things in the front. And so I don't properly go through my refrigerator, freezer, and pantry. Yes, I keep them cleaned out and the shelves wiped out. And But there's things in here that are older that I could be using. And I am working through my back freezer right now, going through some of the older items. But I am doing that. And I can tend to be lazy. Like, I don't even know what I'm going to use this vegetable broth for. It's leftover from cabbage soup. I haven't thrown it away, and I am going to look for a use for it. But sometimes I do waste food because I can't think of what I want to use it for. And so I can end up wasting things, or I forget about things that have been in there for a long time because it shoves so far back. That is something that I'm definitely working on because with the cost of food, we want to make sure we do not waste any of it. My pantry is another area where I don't always get around to using everything. I am working on it. I am a work in progress. Example, this MCT oil. I have not used that. I've had that little cupcake thing forever. I haven't made that. And so there's just things in here. I have tons of canned food. Now, the canned food I'm not as concerned about. But there's a lot of areas 
that I could be using this stuff. There's been oatmeal sitting there. And then certain things get eaten up quickly and other things don't. Uh, for example, a lot of my spices I don't use that often. Also, I have tons of extracts. I don't use them that often either. Now, I don't think it's bad to have them, but like I've got tons of stuff in my baking bucket right there. I don't go through it that fast, especially since I'm not baking. Also, pasta. I rarely ever make pasta dishes. So these are things to look at. And I think part of it is, is I've been too lazy to actually meal prep some of this stuff. Because guess what? It, God forbid it takes time. Okay, here's another other area that I have been lazy. I have not always properly taken care of my clothes. For example, I may spill on myself and not get to the stain right away. And so now I wear a little towel on me, like paper towel or regular towel, before I eat or I put on a really old shirt, especially if I'm going to have something that's saucy and may drip. So not taking care of proper clothing and taking care of what we have in general can be lazy. Hi, all. I even wrote down more ways I've been lazy, but things I don't really show or I don't have anything to show. One is not doing a budget audit and just continually paying the same bills all the time without saying, hey, am I getting the best value? I just kind of like, oh, you know, no news is good news. I'm fine. You know, why change if not broken? That kind of thing. And I keep paying those same bills. That is one area that I've definitely wasted money where I might be getting a better deal. And if I would do more research, I would get better deals. Okay, one other way that I've wasted money by being lazy is not being willing to track my food. I was lazy about that for three years. What did it get me? I gained a lot of weight back and spent a lot of money on clothes because I've been all different sizes. If I was willing to track my food, which I am now, that keeps me in check so that I stay in a calorie deficit so that I can lose the much needed weight. Another couple ways that I have wasted money from being lazy is number one, I lost a gift card. And so that was not a good thing because it was a $50 gift card. Now that was a long time ago because I didn't properly store it. So I knew where it was. Another thing is not using memberships. There's been times where I've had a gym membership I didn't use or other memberships that I've been paying for and I'm not using them. Well, that, or I use them rarely. That's because maybe I was too lazy to call them. I thought, oh, I might use it someday. Instead of taking the time to contact the company, even if I had to wait on hold, which is not my favorite thing to do, and cancel the membership. Okay, another few ways that I can be lazy, but I'm getting better, is comparison buying where I don't take time to look at all the alternatives. I'm like, oh, I like it. Let's get it without comparing my other alternatives out there and impulse buying, buying what I want because I feel I want it. Now I am so much better at those, but I used to be a big impulse buyer. I used to not compare anything and I still can be lazy about that. For example, I get all these things that want you to download an app, upload coupons. And many times I just don't want to deal with downloading a bunch of apps. You know, it used to be you just get a paper coupon and you go get the deal at the store and that's it. Now they want you to download an app. Then you have to buy the item. Then you have to email the receipt over. I don't want to go through anything that's hassle. That's where I'm the laziest is I don't like hassles. If anything has a lot of moving parts or it's a pain in the butt, or there's any struggle factor, and it gets confusing, I give up really easily, and I'm like, I don't want to hassle with this. I, that So that is where I have to be honest, I'm the laziest. I'm going to show you one more thing in the back bedroom. Okay, here's one more area that I can be lazy, guys. Sometimes, not that often though, I like to take long, hot showers. What do you do? You waste a lot of water, and your water bill will go up. Plus I could be doing other things instead of that hot shower. And it's not very kind to the rest of the family members that might like some hot water. So I've minimized that. But in the past, I've been really lazy where I used to take really long hot showers until all the hot water was gone. Okay, guys, this is the end of the video, but I just wanted to touch on this. I know I made myself look terrible, like, oh, I'm so lazy that I'm not willing to save money. 
It's not that at all, but it's good to learn these things so we can improve. It's about small manageable changes. Have I improved on a lot of these things I've shown you? Yes, I have. I take shorter showers. I take care of my clothes better. I'm now tracking my food and I'm paying much more attention to things because everything is a learning lesson. So are there areas I can improve on my frugal journey? Yes, there are. But since six years ago, I've made a lot of improvements and each and every day I plan on improving more. Let me ask you guys a question. What areas in your life are you a little bit lazy where it may end up costing you money because maybe you are a little lazy? Guess what? We're all human beings. None of us are perfect and we're all works in progress. That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And I sure hope you come back for tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.